Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League 2 predictions. Obviously League 2 has just finished for the Saturday, but League 2 are back again in this midweek. Um, guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, link for my merch down in the description below, so feel free to check it out after watching this video. Uh, there was a few results in this week. Um, this weekend where you know the upper clubs were losing against the lower clubs I think I got one result dead on I'm not quite sure but you know there's still a lot of interesting things to talk about and a lot of interesting games coming up so guys anyway you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game I'm going to talk about is Bradford versus Chapman Town Cheltenham Town didn't play. I'm guessing they're supposed to play Northampton Town, but Northampton Town did play the cup um, against Derby and got a nil-nil, and it's a good replay for Northampton Town to take it back to uh, Derby County. Um, but, you know, fair play to Northampton Town for doing that. Cheltenham have had this week off. Um, Bradford did play, on the other hand, and they lost 3-0 to Mansfield Town away from home. Um, so I had a very disappointing day for Bradford. Bradford are currently sitting in 7th inside the playoff places and, and not have won a game in their last 5. Cheltenham, you know, just sitting outside the playoff places with 2 wins in their last 5. 2 points between the 2 clubs, this could very much be a table changing game going forward. I think Bradford are going to lose this one again. And because Cheltenham had that week off, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Cheltenham win. My next one is Cambridge versus Salford City. Um, Cambridge drawing 1-1 away from home to Morecambe. Salford drawing 1-1 at home to Oldham Athletic. Um, and Salford went one up in that game as well. So this point day for Salford. Salford are currently sitting in 12 with one win in the last five. Uh, you know, with likes of Cambridge um, sitting down in 16, not one again in the last five. This game's got to be slightly interesting, I think. I don't think they can change. No, they can't. There's four points between the two clubs. But I think this game is going to be a bit of an upset. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Cambridge win. My next one is Colchester versus Swindon Town. Swindon Town beating Port Vale 3-0 at home. Um, very good three points for Swindon. Much needed as well to keep at the top of the table. Can, uh, Colchester 0-0 draw away to uh, Exeter. Very good point for Colchester, I, I believe, um, being away from home. Colchester have only won one in the last five, drawn the other four. Swin uh, Swindon Town have won three in the last five, drawing one and losing the other. Um, I'm going to go for a draw for this game. And I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Lake Norian. Um, Crew Alexander 2-2 away to Scunthorpe. Disappointing day, I do believe, for um, Crew there. Lake Norian beating Newport County 2-1 at home. Great three points for Lake Norian. Uh, keeps um, nine points off the drop to Morecambe. Um, Crew sitting in the playoffs by a point. And um, Crew have only won two out of the last five. Lake Norian have only won one their last five. I think this game's going to be a bit of an upset. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Forest Green versus Carlisle. Um, Forest Green loses 2 1 away to Macclesfield. A disappointing day for Forest Green there. Um, you know, losing to Macclesfield. Um, Carlisle beating um, Walsall 2-1 away from 
uh, at home, sorry. Um, Carlo sitting in 21st position, two wins out of the last five. Forest Green going through a bit of a dippy spell, only winning one in the last five. I'm going to go for a Carlisle win. And I'm going to go for a 3-2 Carlisle win. My next one is Grinsby versus Stevenage. With Grinsby losing 3-2 away from home to Crawley Town. And Grinsby went... Um, one nil down in that game, and then went two one up and lost it three two. Stevenage loses Plymouth two one away from home, and they have frog luck failure in that game as well. Um, I think it's about thirteen minutes injury time on the end of that. Uh, but yeah, it really does put things into perspective where you get frog luck failure. I'm not sure or how even how close it was for being called off, but. They played on and they lost 2-1. Going with this game, you got Grinsby in 19th position and you've got Stevenage bottom of the league. I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Newport County versus Macclesfield. Uh, Macclesfield beating Forest Green 2-1 away from home. N Newport uh, losing 2-1 away from home to Lake Norian. Disappointing day for Newport, great day for Macclesfield. Um, especially calling a shock like that. Um, with this game in particular... Uh, Macclesfield are outside the play, uh, sorry, the relegation zone, playoff zone, no, not quite that high. Um, by five points. Uh, Newport are in 11th. I'm going to go for another Macclesfield win, actually. And I'm going to go for another 2-1 Macclesfield win. My next one is Northampton Town versus Scunthorpe. Um, Northampton Town, as I said, didn't play because of the FA Cup. So it's only Scunthorpe to talk about. Um, Scunthorpe drawing 2-2 at home to Crew Alexander. Great point for Scunthorpe. Um, let's start off with Scunthorpe in this league position as well. Um, 33 points, but in one out of their last five. Um, Northampton Town not lost a game in their last five with 46 points and very much looking at that automatic promotion place. I'm going to go for a Northampton Town win because I do see bits and pieces um, of that derby game. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Northampton Town win. My next one is Oldham Malfletic versus Mansfield. Mansfield beating Bradford 3 0 um, at home. Great three points for Mansfield. Uh, big three points for Mansfield as, as well. Could be coming the end of the season. Oldham Malfletic drawing 1 1 away to Salford City. Great point for Oldham as well. As I said, that win can really give Mansfield some confidence who are currently sitting in 18th, and that's their second win in five games. So, you know, I think that's going to give them a bit of confidence, as I've said. Um, Oldham not winning the last five. I'm going to go for a Mansfield win, and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Mansfield win. My next one is Plymouth goal versus Crawley. Plymouth goal. Beating Stevenage 2 1 away from home. Um, great three points for Plymouth Argyle. Crawley beating Grinsby 3 2 at home. Um, great three points for Crawley there. Plymouth, you know, as I said, great three points, but it's nothing to be really expected there. Um, Crawley went 1 0 up, uh, went 2 1 down, and won 3 2. So Fair play to Crawley for that one. 
I'm going up against a very good Plymouth side um, who are currently sitting in the top three. Looking at their record, Crawley have only won two in the last five. Um, Plymouth won four in the last five, which one I'm going to go for a Plymouth win. And I'm going to go for a 3 1 Plymouth win. My next one is Port Vale versus Exeter. Exeter drawing nil nil at home to Colchester. Um, you know, f fair play for Colchester. If you're an um, Exeter fan, please tell me how you're feeling about that point. Um, Port Vale loses 3 0 away from home to Swindon Town. Um, Port Vale currently in 10th with two wins at the last five. Um, Exeter are now sitting in second. They have not lost a game in their last five. You're going forward with this game, um, and this I'm going to call this one another shock. I think that point against Exeter might just stun the Exeter players just ever so slightly. And I'm going to go for another a nil nil scoreline for that one. My next one and my last one for this midweek is Walsall versus Morecambe. Uh, Morecambe drawing with Cambridge 1 1 at home. So, you know, fair play for uh, Morecambe for that one. Um, you know, with the likes of um, going up against Cambridge, and I know it's tight between them two. Um, also, lose the 2-1 away from home to Carlisle. Um, let's go over to the league table quickly. Morecambe are currently in 23rd, 23 points. As I said, 5 points of safety. Walsall are currently 13th. When we three at the last five, um, I'm going to go for a Walsall win, and I'm going to go for a 3 nil Walsall win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So a big fat fun, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao.